Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and welcome to a different type of video. In this video, I went to Twitter and I asked people if they had any iOS emulator related questions, and I picked a few of the most popular responses, and in this video, I'm going to be answering them. The reason I decided to do this is because Recently, I've been trying to respond to as many comments as I possibly can on the channel. However, I get a lot of comments and it's difficult to do so. So hopefully, I can answer some of the most popular questions in one video. With that being said, we're going to begin. Alright, we're starting with Kevin Giant. And he asks, After I restarted my phone, my GBA for iOS app stopped working. How can I fix this? Well, Recently, GBA for iOS was revoked by Apple. It had a pretty good run. It was up for some months. And once an application is revoked by Apple, it will not open anymore. And that's unfortunate. However, there's already a new GBA for iOS available on iEmulators.com. But a lot of people are worried about their saves. Now, you can transfer your saves using an old video that I made, but it does require a computer. However, if you had Dropbox Sync on in the last app, all you have to do is turn it on in this new app and you'll get all your saves back. So if you're using GBA for iOS right now and you don't have Dropbox Sync on, I highly recommend you turn it on. It can save your saves and it's an awesome setting. Okay, moving on to the next question we have from Joaquin Sabin 13 and he asked has any download method like certificates been changed in iOS 9 Will we have a way to make it not get revoked? So for those don't that don't know the way I emulators distributes its applications like GBA for iOS and more is that it uses a Enterprise certificate and that enterprise certificate allows anyone to install an app using that link However, if an enterprise certificate is being used for what it's not supposed to be used like GBA for iOS Apple can shut it down and his question is is there any other way besides this way to distribute apps on iOS 9? And there really isn't at this moment in time. There's one other way that I'll get to in a second, but besides that, there's always the Build Store. Build Store is a permanent solution for getting apps and emulators on your phone. So if you wanna check that out, you can click right there. But if not, we're gonna head into the next question. All right, so like I mentioned, there is one other way that you can get apps on your phone for free and without a jailbreak. And this was something that was introduced in iOS 9, I think. I, it may be only iOS 9. I don't know if it works on iOS 8 exactly, but it requires a Mac with Xcode 7. So go, go Brazil 8 brs question is, Dear John, what about the free IPA install via Xcode? Is that out yet? Yes. You can now install applications like GBA for iOS, Nitrogen for those that know about that, and more using this new Xcode 7 side loading technique. Now, I'm working on a pretty big tutorial on that, a complete tutorial, easy, that you guys will be able to follow. Um, it should be coming out soon, so look forward to that. And it is an alternative to getting apps from my emulators, the build store, and you can control when they are, they won't, they can't be revoked, but this method has a three month time limit. I'll have a video on it soon. So if you want to know more about that, check out that video. It's not out yet, but eventually it will be out and you can click on the card to view it. All right. Our next question is from Rick Sanchez and he says, are there any recent updates on the public release of nitrogen DS emulator? So over a year ago, I made a video on a new emulator called Nitrogen, which is a Nintendo DS emulator. For those that don't know, NDS for iOS is no longer in development, but Nitrogen was in development. And the reason I say was is because recently there hasn't been many updates, and that's because the developers have been busy and they really haven't been able to push updates. Nitrogen was supposed to be the um, successor of NDS for iOS and be an amazing Nintendo DS application but so far hasn't really got to that point but I will be showing you guys how to install it in the Xcode 7 tutorial so if you want to check it out you can check out that tutorial that will be out soon. All right switching over to a lighter note we have a question from Mohammed, aka XSSBM7 and he asked what's your favorite emulator and favorite game you play on said emulator so my favorite emulator has definitely got to be GBA for iOS 2.0. I have a huge attachment to that application because I know the developer Riley and I beta tested that app 
for over a year, which is pretty crazy. So I have a huge attachment to GBA for iOS 2.0 and my favorite game to play on it is either Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories or Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Two freaking amazing games that I grew up with and I love them very much. All right, next question. We have from Cameron Gills. I probably just said that wrong and I'm sorry. He asks, why can't show iRec and other screen recorders record on iOS 9? What did Apple do to disable it? And with this new iOS 9 update, apparently something changed with the way the, the iOS works and how like everything is in it. And for that, the screen recorder stopped working. Like I don't know the technical stuff, I'm not a developer, but the fact of the matter is that it broke screen recorders on iOS 9 and the developers of iRec and Show are working on it. And as soon as there is a fix, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll have a video on it. So don't worry, as soon as it's fixed, I'll have a video on it and you guys will know. All right, moving on to the next question, we have Samuel Wilder and he says, when is RetroArch coming back to iOS without a jailbreak? So RetroArch has not been on iOS without a jailbreak for a very long time. At one point on iOS 7, it was around without a jailbreak for a little bit of time. But then when iOS 8.1 came out, it broke the cores of RetroArch. Now there has been a rumored and RetroArch has talked about it, the developer LibRetro has said that he's working on a huge iOS update. Now, he doesn't develop for non-jailbroken phones, he only makes it for jailbroken phones. However, hopefully when this new update uh, for RetroArch comes out, it'll hopefully work on non-jailbroken phones as well. So, if that is the case, I'll definitely have a video out for you guys if there's a working version of RetroArch available on non-jailbroken phones. Finally, our last question is from Connor Lewis, and he asks, do you know when N64 iOS beta will come out and will its final release be on iEmulator? So I've actually never spoke about this on my channel. And apparently there's an application called N64 iOS that's being developed by a couple of devs and you can check out their Twitter if they're like, I'll have it linked in the description below. And they've been working on this for a while. I haven't spoke about it because I don't like speaking about emulators before they're complete. Kind of like what happened with Nitrogen. I hyped it up and it still hasn't been released yet. So I don't want to do this with N64 for iOS. So first, qu first question, when will the N64 iOS beta come out? I have no idea. But hopefully when it does come out, I have videos on that for you guys. So if the developers are watching this, then hit me up. If you got a beta, I definitely would love to make videos on it. But besides that, he also added, and will its final release be on iEmulator? So for those of you that don't know, I'm a co-owner of iEmulators.com. I work closely with iEmulators and the developers have stated that they would love to have N64 for iOS hosted on iEmulators.com. So I'm pretty sure when N64 iOS is released, it'll be on iEmulators.com. And of course, when it's released, I'll have a tutorial on how to get it for you guys. And that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A style video. I really don't do this often. And if you enjoyed, make sure to click that like button because depending on the support this video gets, I would love to make more of these videos in the future. With that being said, if you feel like there's a question that I didn't answer and would like an answer to, you can always tweet me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, or just leave it in the comment section below and hopefully it doesn't get too crazy where I can hopefully get to everyone's questions. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. I make videos every week and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.